Now today I'm gonna to be using Unique Powder. This stuff's been around for over a hundred years and it is a terrible, terrible powder to meter. I learned that one the hard way. So here's just a mixed lot of shot that I've collected from old shotgun shells. So I decided I'd go with the next logical choice and that's rock salt. If you're gonna do rock salt, you have to do a little bit of pepper. And if you do pepper, then obviously you need to use those sugar things that are nasty. So we're gonna do some uh, various loads with these items and I hope you enjoy. In case you've never seen or heard of these, they're just little plastic capsules that are 357 caliber. So you just have this little cap here. This is the base of the bullet. You fill the cap up with your shot. One nice part about these is they come with a paper with their own low data in them. I already loaded up one just to see if the lead shot that filled the capsule still stayed within the 109 grain limit and I was actually unable to get to 109 grains. So this particular one, I'm sure this is gonna be super consistent throughout is 104.4 grains. Here I have my powder funnel. I'm just going to drop a bunch of this shot right into it. As you can see, that works perfectly. This one comes in a little bit higher than the last one, but it's still safely under 109 grains. It's even a little bit less now. I could not get this base to go on securely, so I had to take one of the pieces of shot out. Just in case you were wondering, the 132.8 is how many grains this particular tray weighs. So as far as rock salt goes, this is about maximum capacity that I can get in here. These capsules together with the cap are in the 8.4 grain range. And there's what a rock salt 38 special capsule looks like. Here is paired with the birdshot filled capsule. I know that this will come as a surprise to many of you and a big shocker, but the peppercorns are coming in about half the weight of the rock salt. Yeah, it's hard to see the peppercorns in there. And the candy nonpareils actually come in about the same weight as the rock salt. Just so that I can give an equal opportunity to all condiments, I'm gonna ensure that I also have my salt and pepper load, two in one. I ended up going to my DuPont 700X, just because the length of these capsules is so long that it doesn't allow for a lot of room for the powder, and I wasn't sure exactly how these would react in the press. They seem to be doing okay. They are probably the hardest bullets I've ever had to load for overall length. There's just so much flex, I guess. I don't know, or springiness, but it's kicking my butt. So here I have one that's loaded with the bird shot. Come on, focus. So I got the powder all measured out. Then I inserted the capsules by hand with varying degrees of success. I was a little bit nervous because some of the capsules wouldn't go in, but they seem to be handling well in the press. I would say that these are not a joy to load. I enjoy reloading bullets as much or more than shooting. This particular round, uh, I don't think I really enjoyed it that much. It's kind of a fun experiment. I'll be interested to see what kind of patterns these come out with. This was kind of interesting though. It was worth it. I can't wait to see the patterns that these produce. Now mind you, these specialty loads, aside from the bird shot, are not listed in any manual. I do not suggest anybody to do this. Oh yeah, that's cool. Tons of damage. So here's the candy shot. Here is the pepper. Here's the salt and pepper. Here's the salt. Here's the bird shot.
go through this rubberized flooring. It's shooting a little bit low from where I was aiming. And as you can see, it's done tremendous maximum amount of damage on this bad boy right there. Okay, we're gonna reset this up and we're gonna shoot it now with the pepper rounds and see what extensive damage we can have those cause this. All right, with the pepper round, I didn't see where that last one hit, but oh yeah, it smells so good. So pretty much, if you shoot some object with pepper or candy pellets, you're not gonna do anything but make them sneeze. Oh yeah. All right, with these salt rounds, I can at least see a little bit of impact in here, but I don't see much, um, clearly. Clearly these are super powerful loads, almost so powerful, they go right through the target without even making any damage. It's pretty impressive. So I think that shows us that these are very effective rounds. Now let's test it out with the bird shot. Pretty much on this rubberized floor, you might get an inch of penetration on that. This is more bird shot. I'm gonna test it against the solid surface uh, testing media. Look at that. Oh man, that thing's just shattered to pieces. 10 or 12 hits on this thing. And the extensive damage, it's awe inspiring right there. This is after four hits. Uh, it really doesn't do that much damage. This tells me one thing these would be a terrible, terrible self defense load. To no surprise, this one happens to be the most powerful. These other ones are just so light, they just don't do much, but we still had a great time today. Thank you.